What's going on, YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video. Now, before we jump into today's video, man, you should have know what you should have been did. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to save the world. We're trying to save as many people as we can. So make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post not clarity, my guy. Now, listen. Today, I have a reaction for y'all from It's Complicated YouTube channel. Make sure y'all go check them out. All links will be down below in the description. Now, today's video is called Independent Women and Biology, Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Women. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want me to do more reactions of these type of videos. You know, because I, I know this ind independent women and I don't need a man and all that. You know, a lot of people mess with these type of content. So let me know if y'all boys want more of these type of videos. Now, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Since the beginning of ancient times, you know, men were set to provide and protect. Women were set to bear the children and take care of the household. So, in modern day, I mean, when it comes to women, you have to just understand that they want a guy that could take care of them. Just the way it is. A lot, of, a lot of women complain about being objectified sexually, right? Uh -huh. But do you think that women objectify men financially and do the same Hell thing? Hell yeah! So, how is... Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Is that different than like just a loose... For is, how is that not prostitution in, in a way? Oh, because, um... Let me think. Let me answer that! Yeah. <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Hello. Okay, let me just say, I'm a preacher's kid, and I, as a kid, your daddy tell you like when my daddy, my, my daddy always tell she, she said she a preacher's kid, but look at what she's wearing out here, bros. Look at what she's wearing out here, brothers, man. Man. I mean, if he can't afford to take you out for a steak dinner, he ain't the man for you. Y'all. Let's take a moment of silence for what she's wearing and for her being a child of a preacher. Let's take a moment of silence. But that should not happen. Let's take a moment of silence. <laughs> Cause what? I'm here to review your homeschooling environment. Religion has been removed from our schools. They're teaching. Since for forever. When men take their daughters like old to get they like their nails done and they pedicures, they took them on like daddy daughter dates. First thing they say is I want to teach her how a man should treat her. Exactly. So, like, how so that prostitution since I was a little it's girl. Only pro it you've been teaching me that a man should court me and, and, and date me a certain a certain kind of way. I should I feel a like caliber of man. Of course I why is your chain so tight around your neck? Um, a lot of women nowadays say they want a, a guy who's a sugar daddy. I got a sugar daddy. Do you think it's hypocritical? Hey yo, what the fuck? For uh, parents to advise their sons to avoid gold diggers, but uh, advise their daughters to find a man who will take care, know how to take care of them. Do you think that's that's fair advice? Should be independent, whether it's a female or a boy, a daughter or a son. You should teach your kids how to be independent. All right. For the women who say, like, you know, I'm a strong, independent woman, right? Mm -hmm. If women are so strong and independent, why does the pressure of marriage and commitment typically come from women? Because it's all a facade. It's not, it's not real. I mean, look, you can sit there and act like you're the most confident, independent person in the world, but if your parents are still picking up your tab for college, your apartment, your car payment, your insurance, are you really an independent, strong woman? Right. Probably not. So, in your opinion, what is the difference between a man who spoils his woman and a man who is whipped? <laughs> oh, whipped? Okay, so you can spoil your woman and have, and have that respect level, have that, that aggression. Like, I've been spoiled by a man and it's like, you know, he kind of got me a check a little bit. Like, I know what I can and cannot say to him. I know I can't run over him. He has that respect level. Whip is just like, bitch. No, Brandon is whipped. So, homie, Brandon is definitely whipped. I have a boyfriend that's whipped. He let me do whatever the fuck I want to do. Have sugar daddies, but spoiled is. Whip boots and just like, bitch. No, Brandon is whipped. So, homie, Brandon is definitely whipped. I have a boyfriend that's whipped. He let me do whatever the fuck I want to do. Have sugar daddies, but. Oh my god. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, RIP to Brandon, man. Let's take a moment of silence for Brandon. 
He 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 letting his girl have sugar daddies and stuff like that. Oh yeah, he's for sure with. He doesn't know his place as a man. He doesn't know his role. He probably not on retention, brothers. That's what I'm getting. Spoiled is. Spoiled, spoiled. I can still be you. You take care of me, but it, yeah, I would never disrespect him. Yeah, because That's yeah, you know your ass might get cut out. Why is it okay for some women to expect a man to still do <laughs> tra traditional manly things like fix stuff and pay bills, protect, provide, but the minute he expects her to cook and clean traditional woman things, that's seen as sexist. I think that's one of those things that also just depends on, on the particular parties involved. I mean, obviously the way that you grew up or what you saw in your household growing up is going to determine whether you see that as something that's normal or taboo you know what i mean so if you i mean say you were raised by two lesbian moms and then you marry a dude who expects you to freaking cook and clean and do all this stuff all the time they probably were trying to make you you know a strong independent woman because you didn't have that necessarily like father figure in your life so i think it all it really just depends on on the circumstances that you grew up in um if there was one thing that you wish more women understood about men what would that be um, to be honest, that we want just more than one of you. Like, we can't be confined, and it is just, we're going to keep circling right back around trying to do the same concepts of monogamy. I don't really believe in monogamy. I feel like men are naturally polygamous, uh, and then that's why it doesn't work. And just, you try to tie us down into a domestic relationship, and we act like we, that's what we want, and that's what we're satisfied, and we have to play a cat and mouse dance and lie and tell you, but secretly when you walk away, oh, we're looking over here and over there, and then... I feel like that's just him, bro. That that has to be just him who feels like this. Because I feel like if you find a girl that you deem fit to be in your life, a girl that, you know, fulfills everything that you can possibly... Well, I don't think anybody can truly fulfill your every desire. If you can find a girl who comes close to that, I don't think you're going to have eyes for other women, bros. You know, at that point, it just becomes, you know, human human the way humans operate you know it's not just men who aren't like truly satisfied and stuff like that you know women it could be women too because they can have a whole guy and still have eyes for other men but i feel like it just comes down to just finding the right partner for you so you don't have to keep looking and you know but i i think that's just him bro I don't know about this one. And we end up getting in trouble, and then we end up losing our women, and that's why the divorce rate is so high, I believe. <laughs> why do you think that there are some men who struggle with commitment? Because um, they're broke as fuck, and they're lame as fuck, and they're gay as fuck. Next question. What, what was surprising to you, something that you learned about men in your experiences, just dealing with men, dating, relationships? There's no such thing as a loyal man. Every man cheats. So, so do you think that men are only as loyal as their options? Yep. Yeah, thank you. Do you think that... Do you th These women need Jesus in their life. <laughs> These women need Jesus, bros. And, you know, it's not, it's not healthy for people to operate in this type of mindset because of what, based off of what they went through. You know, you, you, she probably faced men who did cheat. And now she's just um, grouping every man as cheaters. Like, that's not a good way to, to operate out here. Do you think that people are just only as loyal as their options, including women as well? Yep, I think so too, yeah. Men are biologically disgusting and they're biologically liars. It takes the right woman to come into their lives even and mold the right, their bitches. Oh no, them. even when the right woman comes into their life, they still cheat. Because they're... <laughs> Do you guys see this app right here? It's called Audible. There's actually a better way to make money on Amazon other than selling Dumb as fuck, okay? They wait until they know they about to lose that one and I like, They want to crash shit. They get All right. Don't crash Do you now, think, okay, tell me this. Do you think, you were talking about cheating, right? When somebody, che okay, when somebody cheats on their lover, right? Do you typically blame the one who cheats or the one who drove the other one to cheat? At the same time, it takes two. You feel me? So, you obviously doing something that made me cheat. I ain't gonna cheat with the bottom of the barrel. I'ma cheat on somebody that's better than you. Why didn't she just why didn't she just leave? Nobody can make you cheat. You right. Just pay attention to her nails, fellas. Pay attention to the nails. Pay attention to 
I don't even gotta say much, bro. Who do you think kind of sets the rules in relationships, you know, the boundaries? It depends on the kind of relationship. Do you think it's true that the one who loves the other one less is the one who has the control in a relationship? I never thought about that. That's manipulation. Let's hear what he said. Control in a relationship. Do you think it's true that the one who loves the other one less is the one who has the control in a relationship? That's manipulation because many people would do that on purpose thinking that the person is going to like them more just because they show less interest. That's manipulation, really. I never thought about that. I don't think so, but sometimes kind of. Sometimes kind of? Okay. Yeah. But like toxic, but... What, is, what are the characteristics of a toxic person? Who? um... Someone who makes you feel guilty or bad about things that you shouldn't feel bad about. A lot of guys, guys are just more um, thirstier than females are. Females will rather seek out their options, and they have a lot of options. So they piggyback off of different guys. It's just the truth, man. I've seen it myself. Okay, and uh, doesn't having more options in dating give women the privilege of being more picky? Hell, half the time they don't even have to be picky. You know, but the options, yeah, the options give them an opportunity to see exactly what they want and to fill their needs at that time. So if they have more options, they, they're able to fulfill their needs a lot faster. Do you think women are biologically driven to seek out the highest value man they can attract, specifically the best protector and provider? Yes. So that's biological, that's in their DNA, right? Right, that's, every woman is like that. Every woman is in their DNA. Every woman wants the best option she could possibly find. You know, uh, physically, you know, uh, society has made us think that the dad bod is a thing. No, girls like guys with abs, guys, with nice bodies you know it's all propaganda so they want the best option they could possibly find the most money whatever why wouldn't they I mean that's what they want if you are seeking uh, um, someone to provide why wouldn't you want the best one to do it so um, you can't be mad at women because they want a rich man or they want the, 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 the athlete they want the strong guy like they want the they want the dominant alpha male you know what I'm saying so um, why wouldn't they go for the best of what, what they can get? That's just with anything else in life. It doesn't have to be the opposite sex. It could be with like food. If I'm if I, if I want a burger, I want the best damn burger there is, right? So, I mean, you can't be mad at somebody for wanting the best. A burger, I want the Who is this old lady right here, brother? <laughs> best damn burger there is, right? So, I mean, you can't. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> can't be mad at somebody for wanting the best so I feel like it flips on the other side so you can't be mad at men for wanting the best of what we want you know what I mean so do you think that's natural or learned behavior I think that's biological man. I, think that's, biological. I think that's in us but from birth I feel like um, as an infant you you want to seek the the most efficient <laughs> protection of survival and do you think that men are biologically wired to reproduce and spread their seed with as many women as possible? Man, that's a good question. Yes, yes, they are. We are. I'm not going to do that because I value my seed, but... He told him. Okay. Okay. Yes, they are. We are. I'm not going to do that because I value my seed, but... Okay. He value himself, brother. Y'all hear that. He told us to uh, be fruitful and multiply. Um, I don't think that was... I mean, how can we be so fruitful and multiply if I were to get a woman pregnant? It, it, it's nine more months until I can get her pregnant again. But biologically, me, I can go get someone pregnant again in the next five minutes. So being fruitful and multiply, I think that the, that the monogamy just goes out the window with that. <laughs> okay, so then I was my next question, you jumped the gun here. Wouldn't the expectation of monogamy be asking a man to deny his biological instinct to reproduce? That's the problem with life. That's the main problem with everything because we are not able to be our natural selves we have to pretend we have to lie we have to act like even though we do love our women we act like that's all that we want and it's not even my love for you and how strong i want to provide and protect for you i want to love and provide and protect for her too monogamy is learned behavior okay so if that's true why are women allowed to fulfill their biological destiny to seek out the highest value man but we're not allowed to fulfill our biological destiny to reproduce that's really deep, bro. That's a good question. That's a good question. Because we're living in a women-driven society where they rule. Um, just for example, look at uh, um, the, the statistics for 
uh, uh, child support and, and, and things like that. How many women take advantage of the, the catering to women that, that, that get the benefits from that? How many women are just being lazy and get to collect checks okay. and everything because they know that the government and men are going to provide for them if they didn't have those luxuries then they would have to figure something else out they would have to survive in a different way but they're able to be more relaxed and and, and able to make the choices and not hold themselves accountable <laughs> wow okay <laughs> it's it's the whole like woman power thing you know it's it's it, it's, it's it, it, talked about it. yeah it's a whole woman power thing like why can't we do that you right, know right right but but I'm just saying, women have a lot of power, and yet they feel like they have no power. Well, that's a, that's that's a thing. They use that for power. The fact that they have no power is the power that they're using against. You know, it's like right. it, it's a it's a it's, it's a Jedi the, they, mind, they, they mind ha, trick. They have the privilege of being victims. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like it's like race, right? You pull that black card, pull yeah, that white card, right, pull right. that Jew card, whatever. Right. It's the right. same thing. Exactly. No, I'm yeah. Jewish, and I yeah. do I get to go up to German people and say <laughs> exactly. Hey, money. Exactly, it's right. over with. Right, right. Exactly. But but this is the new trend. Like of this course. wasn't like this in the fifties. Sure. It wasn't sure. like this in the sixties, right. eight, right. maybe eighties. It's like ninety. Social media right. started right. the whole thing, the whole woman movement. Right. That's right. it. Of it's course. social media. Yeah. 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 You know, all you got all these celebrities talking about like, you know, independence and started from Beyonce, like you know, I N D E, right? Started from there and it just yeah. kept on, you know, Cardi B, like talking right. about, you right. know. All the time you hear it, women's rights, equal rights, all this stuff, whatever, right? You cannot expect to have an equal partnership and all this stuff when you have one guy putting in all the effort and taking care of everything, and then the girl wants to sit there and act like she's the one that needs to be taken care of, but then she's out there doing all these freaking slut walks with Amber Rose, and she's, you know, all about all about women and all this stuff, empowerment, but then you're depending on a man. You, you can't really, I mean, I can't, I can't vibe with that. See, the behavior of women, they will never change. It's just female nature. Yeah, I'm going to call it right now. I think I found the single biggest productivity hack of 2021. It's this Google Chrome extension called... So us as men, we have to understand that and just get over it. So we have to adjust to the way they act. Why is it easy? We don't got to adjust to anything, brothers. You just got to find the right one for you. You don't got to adjust to anything, man. Because I feel like these people are only talking about a majority of the women. They're not talking about the 1% of women. So keep that in mind as well. It's easy to say that women will never change their behavior, but men, if, if men can change their behavior, why can't we expect women to change their behavior? Because they're not going to do it. Just female nature, bro. I know. What do like, you mean? They're like, not going to do it because they can't or because they just don't want to? Because they just can't. It's, it's biologically ingrained in their heads. Why isn't it impossible for men to change their behavior then? <laughs> That's a good question, but it's just the way nature works, man. So men, so men are capable of adapting, but women aren't? Is that what your theory is? <laughs> men adapt, think about I mean, it. Don't, don't, we, don't we see females changing all the time though? I mean, you know, females used to be totally complacent, you know, being, uh, being you know, a homemaker, and now all of a sudden they, women kind of seem to be more wanting to be more like men so I mean females are changing wouldn't you say right so if females are changing then why is it safe to say that that they won't change if they already have proven that they have changed I believe that it has to do with the context of in which you're speaking okay. you know hmm. okay. it's the context in which you're speaking regarding female nature by default females are gonna be females regardless so uh, us as men, we just have to adjust. They're hypergamous by nature. Ah, the explain, next, explain what hypergamy means. So hypergamy means finding the next big option. So if you're with a young man and he's making 30K a year and you run across a man that's making 500K a year, you're going to exploit that option. You're going to explore that option. It's like a monkey branch. You're just climbing higher so it benefits you. That's hypergamy. Have you ever heard of the red pill? Yes, I'm a red pill young man. I can tell you are and stuff. Yeah. What was your introduction to the red pill? Oh, man, um, my introduction to the red pill. I remember, I remember, <clears throat> I remember when I was, I'm 21 now, but I remember I was doing everything right. I thought I was doing everything right. I did everything right. Everything, I was doing everything right. What does, like, that, what does that mean? What is doing everything right? I was, right? you know, I was, you know I'm a, I was a gentleman. At first, I had my guard up, but I let my guard down, but dates. 
um, just being a gentleman, just going the extra mile, even when she didn't deserve it. I, you know, just you know, and just not, not coming. See, now if she don't deserve it, then I could get that. But it's nothing wrong with being a gentleman, brothers. Like this, oh my not getting the the results that I wanted to in the end. <laughs> okay, and so and so, what did what did the red pill teach you? It taught me that the real, real, real deal. Like this is all propaganda by by nature. We are taught, like since we are children, we're taught that you got to be Mr. Nice Guy, and that's not the way. That's not the right way. That's not the right way. You will never win. You got to be a man, and real men know their worth. Real men don't place their value in females. They pl they place their value in themselves. Real men know their worth. Okay. Yeah. So that was the video for today, man. If y'all learned anything valuable from this video, make sure to drop a like, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, share the video with a friend, and subscribe if you're new and listen. I'll catch you in the next one, and I'm out.